Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we will be learning how to use Leonardo AI prompts to create stunning AI generated images. With the help of this guide, we'll make sure that it's simple and easy for everyone to follow. You will learn to write your own prompts using emojis, textures, lighting, and even the names of famous artists so that you will be able to create stunning AI images here with Leonardo AI. So let's begin with going to our web browser and simply go to leonardo.ai so that you'll be able to log in and start creating AI images using Leonardo AI prompts. So now that you are on the website, just click on start using Leonardo AI and just simply click on yes, I'm waitlisted once you are registered or once you have signed up and created an account here. Once you are at your homepage, for us to start is go to AI generation image. This is where we will start. So the first prompt that we can use here with Leonardo AI is that you can simply use emojis like this emoji icon. There's sunset, penguin, and there's a dump truck. And as you can see, when Leonardo AI has generated the image for us, it actually provided us a exact illustration or an exact image based on the emojis that we write or that we wrote on the prompt rather. And you will be able to see here that all of the details or all of the emojis that we've used has been incorporated into the image that was generated here with Leonardo AI. So that is the first Leonardo AI prompt that we will learn. You can simply use emojis in order for you to create stunning images. It's either you can simply write all the prompts in emojis or you can combine it with some words like this one. I had an emoji and then I specified in what type of illustration I want the image to be generated in. So here I'm just trying out, I have a watercolor, we have pastel illustration, illustrator. You have the realistic image and there's a lot more. So another thing here is that you can actually use the names of famous artists and photographers. For example, we have the Air France Lanting, who's actually a famous photographer from National Geographic, where he is mostly getting photographs of wildlife animals. So mostly by the desert or anything that has reflection in it. And as you can see here, you can actually look for an elephant. You can see that there's an elephant in the sunset by captured or photographed by Franz Lanting, planting rather. And then here, you'll be able to see that you will be able to generate similar. It may not be identical since this is just an AI image that was generated, but you can actually use this prompt so that the AI model will have a guidance on what type of image that they will be generating for you. So here you'll be able to see we have Franz Lanting. So another thing that you can do here is you can actually go to the fine tune models as well. You can either use absolute reality or you can use Dream Shaper if you want the characters or the image to be animated like, or you can even use the Leonardo Creative or Leonardo Diffusion and then you'll be able to create stunning images like these. So another here is I will be using names of famous artists like Pablo Picasso, Vincent van Gogh, Michelangelo. You can actually use any famous artist that you can think of. And you can see here, I have the prompt, an old lady painted by Pablo Picasso. And you can see here when the image is generated, the art style or the how the painting or the image is being structured or is being created, it's very similar to the artist that we indicated here on the Leonardo AI prompt. So you can see here, I have changed simply the same prompt, but I just changed the name of the artist. You'll see it's very minimal touch to it, the same subject, old lady, but they have different touch into the image that was generated here. So we have Salvador Dali right here. And you can see 
very similar. Yeah. All of these images are generated as an old lady, but they have different art styles. So that's the second image that we will be generating here with the use of Leonardo AI prompts. So up next here with Leonardo AI, we will be tackling about lighting prompts. So you can actually indicate lighting situations into your Leonardo AI prompt. So for example, you want to get an image of your dog or a little girl or a flower. You can simply indicate like a studio lighting or a golden hour. You can indicate the weather as well, since for every weather, there's different lighting effects as well to the subject of the image that will be generated. So for example, here we have a Leonardo AI prompt. There's a little girl wearing a t-shirt and a blue shorts backlighting during a golden hour. And you will be able to see here, I'm currently using absolute reality and we can change it to dream shaper. It actually will generate um, identical or it may be similar to the first image that was generated here with the same prompt. And you'll be able to see here, it actually indicated the, it has the girl, it has the lighting effect. And if you want to have it more serious type or more professional looking, you can actually change the lighting effect like studio lighting. You can have neon lights, you can have sunset, or you can have night light. You can definitely write anything that you can imagine depending on how it would be generated here with Leonardo AI. That could still be possible. So you can see I actually changed the prompt here with the studio lighting here with Leonardo AI prompt. Just a very minimal change, but it provides you a different vibe to the image that you are generating right here. So here is a neon lights. You can even change the subject to say a high-end model with the same information like neon lights, studio light, and close-up shot. And here you'll be able to see it definitely provided as an image of a high-end model here with this Leonardo AI prompt. So the next thing here, once we have tackled about the lighting prompts here with Leonardo AI, we can actually use illustration style prompts. So you can either choose what type of illustration you'd like to indicate here with an image that you wish to generate here in this platform. Similar to the first image that we've generated with the emojis, we've actually incorporated illustration styles in it. So you can even have a oil painting illustration, you can have a watercolor illustration, or you have Pixar, Disney, or anything that you can think of depending on what type of art style you'd like to incorporate. So let's say you have, you want an anime style illustration. You can actually indicate that in your prompt. Similar to the prompt that I have here, I have a golden retriever puppy. The first thing that I have generated was a Pixar illustration. The next thing that I did here is just simply change the word Pixar to watercolor and you'll be able to see the image that was generated is very near to a watercolor illustration style of a golden retriever. You also have an ink style here where it will turn the image black and white. It is not identical, but the image, the images that will be generated here are very similar to each other. So another thing that we can do here is that we can actually use other um, illustration style or illustrations. For example, you have a cyberpunk style that you want to incorporate here. You can even incorporate two words. So for example, you have a dog punk, you have a cat punk, or you have cyberpunk cat. You can actually mix all of those words and you will see, you just be shocked on what type of image it will generate for you since here with Leonardo AI, it actually generates images that are very creative and will efficiently understand what prompts you will be using here with Leonardo AI prompts. So here I'm just modifying the subject. I am using the same style, that's cyberpunk, but I have changed the character. Instead of a cat, I have chosen a hamster. You can even specifically indicate what type of breed or what type of animal that would be. 
So the last thing that we will do, or the second to the last rather, would be texture prompts. You can actually indicate in your Leonardo AI prompt textures. So let's say you want to create a texture for your clothing, or for example, you do have an image right here. What I'll do is I'll actually use a hamster right here. And I want the hamster to be a very furry texture. You can actually indicate that in your prompt. So you'd say a hamster with a very furry texture, or you can actually indicate as well a colorful fur. You can actually indicate that here with your Leonardo AI prompt. And you'll be able to see that the image that will be generated are based on the Leonardo AI prompt that you have used. So another here is that you can actually use a glass texture. Glass texture, you can see that there is a glossy effect from the lighting that is being used. And you can even incorporate here, there's a glass culture with a hamster. And you'll be able to see that with the subject or with the object that was generated here, it actually provided you that specific object with the right um, textures in it. So for you to know that when you look into the image, you will exactly know at first sight that that image is a glass or what texture it would be. So here I just used a ball as the subject for the sample images for texture prompts here with Leonardo AI prompt. You can have a ball with a mermaid scales, you can have a ball with fish scales, you can actually have a ball with feather texture. You can just indicate anything that you'd like to use but you just indicate at the last part, there's a word texture so that Leonardo AI knows that you are trying to portray a specific texture that you want to generate here with a Leonardo AI image. Here, so you can have a spiky texture. So the last thing here is the use of adjectives as your prompts. So instead of just simply having a ball with a spiky texture, you can actually indicate words like cute, beautiful, any nice adjectives that you can think of so that you will be able to create stunning images much more um, it would be much more better or it's much more upgraded from the first image that was generated here with the same prompt simply by adding the a simple word like beautiful or cute or amazing it would actually have a great impact or a great image here into your ai image here with leonardo ai so here I can see that I am having a cute ball with a metallic foil balloon texture. You can see with those words that you can just think of, you can just simply type it in here. Just keep on generating until you find that image that you are looking for. So you can actually indicate here to say a fly is not very pleasing to look at, but you can actually include that in your prompt. A cute fly with a hyper-realistic texture. And you will be able to see that this fly is really cute. And you can actually use this as a image or a art basis or a foundation on what type of image you will be looking for. So you can have a gecko or a baby crocodile, depending on what type of image you'd like to create here. And you'll be able to create cute images or beautiful images, depending on what type of image you are going for. So you have a baby chick right here. And if you don't want to generate cute images like these, you can actually create a prompt like a beautiful chicken and you'll be able to see that the details are on spot and you will be able to see it firsthand that that's a beautiful chicken right there that was generated by Leonardo AI with the use of these prompts. So now that we have generated all these prompts or with the use of all the prompts that we've learned today, we were able to create images using emojis. You have cyberpunk images, you know the different illustrations. You can even use the names of famous 
artists or characters so that you'll be able to include that here with your Leonardo AI prompts. And that's basically it. We hope that you enjoy this video and please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And that's how you'll be able to use Leonardo AI and this will guide you in writing your own Leonardo AI prompts. And that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!